Now I'm going to show you how to add titles to your clips. Scroll up to the menu at the top. Highlight title. Click. Scroll down to new title. You have three main options. You've got default still, which is the one we're going to use for this tutorial. Default roll, which is what you would see at the end of a film. Default crawl, what you would see at a news channel. News feed. So go to default still. Click, you're given a new title, you have to enter in the resolution and the name. Click OK. And now we've opened up into the title menu. If you're familiar with Photoshop, some of these features may seem familiar. Scroll up to the type tool. Scroll down to space, enter in your text. use the selection tool to move it about but it's not very good so what you do look carefully at what I do go down to center and it's a horizontal center and a vertical center so that doesn't look too bad but as you can see it's still off still out the borders so you could either from up here change the font or move over here Change the font this, change the font here, or more. Font size. You can either do it by just scrolling with the, as you can see, moving it up and down. There we go. Or you can just enter it like 80. Until it gets to the right framing, you can go back to center, and that's not bad. The font is not the best. So I want to scroll down, scroll down, and check um, shadow. You wouldn't possibly see it in black and white. I apologize, I don't know why I did that there. Now, there is themes down here, which is, and I apologize for the size of the framing. This, if this is the problem with this program. This, well, not program Premiere Pro, but the title section. Select. This it gives you a quick idea to, oh, some of these look like signatures. You think, oh, that's not bad. Maybe hard to see Swan, but oh, that's not bad. You think, oh, that's not too bad. And there you go. There is um, keying, which by doing this, you can look very carefully. No, it doesn't seem to be working here. The ruler and many of these other features. The time code. And if you think, well, well, it looks like you've not used this too much, you'll be correct. To be honest with you, what I do is use Photoshop and import the menus, the text in JPEG or PMG and just import it at the beginning with the video and the audio and etc. I find that far more useful than this. I feel this is a little underpowered for what you have to pay for. It feels a little limited in comparison to other features in Premiere Pro. And the only way you can sort of end this is by scrolling up to the top, click the X button, to close it, and then it's there. Click and drag it onto the timeline. Oh, it's perfectly fitted for that. And there you go. Not exactly a masterpiece, but you get the idea.